Walter Cossotto's latest work is a giant sculpture of David Bowie's eyes. It's just a fraction of the famed musician's face, yet it's instantly recognisable. It's typical of his style, an ear here, a mouth there, every piece incredibly lifelike and incredibly oversized. Walter's art is inspired by the experience of working on film sets. When I finished you know, high school, I, I wanted to, to know how, you know, the, to get to learn the, the skills, the techniques to do my own art. So that's how I came up with the idea, you know, maybe the, the cinema industry would be the right place for me to learn all of that. And that's actually what I did. So um, little by little, I built up my portfolio and uh, I came over here in London and I worked for many different uh, workshops. Uh, working for Harry Potter, that was my really first big movie. And then X-Men, you know, Game of Thrones was another one. And uh, yeah, uh, that was really cool because uh, obviously you get to meet very talented artists. And that's where I got all the skills to do what I'm doing now. Artists like Valter are known as hyper-realists. They start from a, photo a photogra photographic reference, but then they go beyond. They go beyond the reality uh, by emphasizing details and uh, tricking the eyes of uh, the viewers uh, and uh, also questioning the, the perception that they have of the work. Beyond Reality is also the title of the Opera Gallery's exhibition, and for visitors, it's about constantly being tricked. Some of the most unusual pieces are by Marc Sijan and they're strategically placed throughout the exhibition. I don't know how long it took you to realise that this is not actually a real woman. She's made entirely out of polyester and oil paint, but she definitely had me fooled. Marc Sijan's other work includes security guards and butlers. He wanted to focus on often overlooked members of society and create a tribute to real people. John Humphreys is an expert in special effects and makes sculptures that are disturbingly close to life, including this self-portrait commissioned by Omer Koch. He's brought a series of portraits to the gallery and in every one he's played with the idea of dimensions. When you work on films, you, you get you ask specific things. I've done a lot of prosthetics and everything has to be like super real. And basically that kind of, it, it kind of educates you into and, and changes the way you see your own finish in work. So you, you get more and more and more refined because you've got to make something that's got to be absolutely real for a film. Uh, then when you come to do your own fine art work, you, your work becomes more sophisticated through through having that discipline. So it, one, my fine art works help me do my film work and vice versa. These artworks are designed to deceive the eye. Creating hyper-realistic art is a painstaking process and one that takes a tremendous amount of skill. But ultimately it's about more than just being hyper-realistic. It's about being hyper-artistic too and creating work that leaves us questioning everything we know about what our eyes are trying to tell us. Miranda Atty, TRT World, London.